PvP but hardcore Iron Man. If you now kill this account, you will receive 300 mil in game. Good luck, gamers. But before we start this very dangerous grind, I am very happy to announce that this episode is sponsored by Spectre Custom Mousepads. If you're looking to upgrade your mousepad, this is the one for you. Choose your dimensions, upload your image, use their easy to use crop tool, custom sizes are available if you place a request under the contact us page on the website. The quality is amazing and I love how perfectly it fits my desk. And of course, by using my code CENGINEER, you get 15% discount, link is in the description down below. I am sure you will love it as much as I do. And now back to today's episode. Holy shit. Oh my god. Why was he in that corner? The plan for this episode and every episode moving forward is to get at least three major upgrades for the Inferno. And for this episode's first upgrade, I am going to be needing 57 thieving. And I'm going to tell you why in just a moment. 54 thieving, 55 thieving, 56 thieving, and that's 57 thieving. I can now go where I want to go, but I'm actually gonna get one level more just so no one really suspects I'm going where I'm going. 58 thieving, there we go. And of course the place where I'm going is the new Forthos dungeon, which is located underneath the Forthos rune. Some of you may be familiar with this new Seracnus spider boss, but something you may not have noticed in this dungeon are these undead druids. Good thing this dungeon isn't the most active dungeon in the game. No one's ever gonna show up here. I can basically just AFK here with Protect from Magic, and if I need more prayer, just run up here north, and we're Gucci. Now what is this? Mask of Rano. Oh my god, this is creepy as f This is the drop I have been waiting for, the grubby key. Opening the grubby chest gives you a small chance of receiving 6 doses of Saradomen brews. I'm going to be needing a total of 10 brews for the infernal cave and this is the place to be if I don't want to level Herblore. And from the first chest we did not get any Sarah brews. Ah yes, we got another grubby key. Egg put it, no. Finally we got another one, another grubby key. And another chest without brews. Another key and another dry. And we got another key, and another dry. Yes, another key, and another dry. After further investigation, I've come to the conclusion that it's around 1 in 10 keys where you receive the cerebrus from the chest. Another key, another dry, and we got another grab a key. And this is going to be key number 8. Yes! We got the bruise, boys, we got the bruise. Took me 8 keys to get our first. 6 doses of Rue and 2 doses of Super Restores. Very, very nice. And that's 87 hit points. Another key, another dry. It took me 10 hours for this level, 89 range. Alright, and this is going to be the final kill of today. We killed a total of 700 undead druids. And if we picked everything up, we would have made 2.9 mil. I got a hard clue scroll. Let's complete it really quickly. Step 1, completed. Step 2. Completed. Step 3. Completed. Step 4. Completed. Step 5. Completed. Step 6. I cannot complete because I dropped my magic whistle and I can't go back to King Percival. For some reason you can't reobtain the magic whistle and I just spent 2 hours trying to get it and I'm pissed. Ah uh, yes, another grubby key. Never lucky. Another grubby key. Another dry. And this is going to be my 400th kill today. Sadly we didn't get any cerebros this trip. So we're gonna take a short break and do some barrels. All right, Kevin, I need you to say your magic words right now. Good luck. Yeah, it never works. Another dry, another dry, another dry, another dry, another dry. Not, ooh, hello. That's a unique item. The only items I'm really going for right now is arms top and bottoms, but I guess I gotta be happy with a unique Guthans play body. Nothing, 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 nothing. You know, let's just save you some time. Another dry. Oh no! Wait. Oh, uh, uh, uh. another Carol's coif. That's the third Carol's coif. But we got the Carol's crossbow, and uh, I guess I gotta be happy with this one. No complaints. I'm happy. Okay. Is this back to back? Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. You know, let's just save you some time. I think that if I pretend to be Swamp Ledix with this broken bark snell, I'll get an Aram's top. Come on, Swamp Head. 
No, no, no. Sorry, Swamp X, but this helm is never being used again. Oh my god, this is going to be my third arm staff. Holy shit, I'm unlucky. After not getting anything at Barrows, I am back to the Undead Roots and I just got myself a Zombie Champion Scroll. The first grab a key of the day is going to give me Cerebrus, thank you very much. Never lucky. And we got a clue. Let's see if we can do it. Step 1, completed. Step 2, completed. Step 3, completed. Oh, and step 4 I cannot complete because I don't have a headband or a crossbeer. Since I'm here, I might as well just get the magic cape. And of course, in case of emergency, I got Mr. C Engineer here at West. Quickly grabbing one of each cape. There we go. I actually hate this place because this is the location where my first ever hardcore Iron Man died. Semi of Flames completed. And that Sarah Strike completed. Class of Good Dicks completed. And not a single PK was spotted. Let's go. The gate is open, boys. The gate is open. And that's the first one completed. Oh my god, that was scary. Holy sh. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was close. I had to sip a brew. I almost got KO'd by that guy. Oh my god, that was close. That's two out of three completed. And there we go. The third heart achieved and truths. We got it. Let's go. We did it. We got all three. And not a single PK found. Feels good, man. We are picking the scariest cape of the three gods, Samurak Imbued Cape. The Magic Imbued Cape has been completed. Since I almost died to an NPC, I might as well make it clear to you guys. If I do happen to die to an NPC or a disconnection, I will not be keeping the 300 mil. But I don't know what I will do with the money. Maybe you guys can suggest something in the comments. I'll never be using these staves again, so might as well make some money out of them. Easy 144k. And for those of you who want to see the stats, plus 15 magic attack and defense bonus, plus 2% extra magic damage bonus. And I am back to the Undead Roots. And there it is, a grubby key. Yes, we got the Bruce. We got the Bruce. Let's go. Another clue. Step 1, completed. Step 2, completed. Step 3, completed. Step 4, completed. No, and step 5. I cannot complete. Rest in peace, Clue Scroll. Rest in peace. Very close to a very big milestone. My first ever level 90 on this account. And there it is. 90 range has been achieved. Can you believe that? Another zombie champion scroll. Another grubby key. This is going to be the final grubby chest I'm opening. I've killed over 2000 of these undead druids. And I have only received 3 brews so far. Not worth my time. Alright, time to get myself a second fire cape so I can sacrifice it for the infernal cape. There we have it, that's the kill. That's the kill, we did it. We got another fire cape. Okay, white dot. Ah, oh, whew. Alright, let's uh, sacrifice this fire cape and we can now start the infernal grind. Whee! I can feel how close we are to the end of the PvP but hardcore Iron Man series. It's a bit sad, but I'm excited at the same time. Alright, the only thing I need, Irons. Never lucky. Oh no! Not another Torax plate body. I think it's time for a back to back item. Thank you very much. <gasps> yes! Back to back! And that completes the Torax set! Nice, I'm very happy with this one. Back to back to back. Let's go. Never lucky. If I end up with all items with the arms top and bottom as the final two pieces I don't have, I'm doing a suicide barrel stream on the hardcore Iron Man. Here we go! 2000 Barrel's Chest number 60 of this episode, never lucky. Time for Barrel's Chest number 70 of this episode, nothing. I just lost my membership, so I'm now using another bomb. And this is going to be 85 magic, I can now tell block my opponent. Barrel's Chest number 80 in this video, currently 38 dry. No! Another one. No! Stop! You're teasing me! I want the arms top or bottom, not the arms hood, not the arms staff. Come on, please. Look at this, it's my second arms hood. Out of prayer potions, so here I am making more. Fun, right? I'm back to the under druids, and here we go, we got our first grubby key. We got nothing. Another key, and another dry. 
Another key, another dry. After killing 600 undead roots, we got enough prey potions for another barrels run. Barrel chest number 90. No! Chest number 97 of this episode? Nothing. It is slowly becoming a tradition to do 100 barrel chests per episode. Barrel chest number 100 of the video, 500 in total. Good luck. In today's episode, we managed to get ourselves 7 barrels pieces in 100 chests, 2 carols pieces, 2 arms pieces, 2 torx pieces, and 1 Guten's plate body. I'm pretty disappointed. It would be great if I could finish this video off with a few Saradom and Brew drops. Well, at least one. Another grubby key, and we get nothing. However, we do have this hard clue scroll, so we're gonna try to complete it right now. Step 1, completed. Step 2, completed. Step 3, Completed. Step 4. Completed. Step 5. Completed and we got the casket. Today's first casket. Let's go. The only thing I'm really going for is a Dragonite shell. So 3, 2, 1. Oh my, this is horrible. Another grubby key. Please, please. No bruise. But we got two restores. That's great. That's very good. Very happy with this one. It's been a very long time since we got a level but we are getting very close here. We are about to hit... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Boring! Yes, another grubby key. Can we get lucky, please, please? Ooh, another two restores. Very, very nice. Just give me a moment and I'll show you exactly how my inventory is looking right now for the Inferno. Two super restores from starting the quest Sogre Flesh Eaters. And there it is, 91 range. Hello, another grubby key. And we get nothing. Finally, another grubby key. Nothing. Ooh, 10 runners. Ah uh, yes, another grubby key. This will be the final grubby chest we open in this episode, and the bounty for killing my hard Iron will most likely increase. You guys decide with how much. Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky? No, never lucky. And this is how my current gear for the Inferno is looking. We got the full range tank gear with the Darox plate body as well. And then of course we got the mage gear. Sadly we don't have any arms yet, but hopefully that will change in the next episode. And of course there are two very very important items I need to get before I start the Inferno grind. And I'm keeping it a secret till the next episode. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next week.